G'day, everybody. As you can see, we're here for the next monthly member spotlight. And today, in, even though it was a bit impromptu, normally we would have had big joiners in uh, with, her, with her laptop, but she actually happened to be just around. So she came up in our office. Here she is sitting next to me. I formally want to introduce Beck Perksell. Hello, Beck. How are you going? I'm fantastic. Thanks for having me today. Likewise. Thanks for coming in. Uh, we are going to have a really good chat here about, uh, you know, what Be Beck is up to as a member. Because you know, obviously in the success community, I think it's always important that we get to know each other, that we share what works for us, how we can potentially help other people as well. And that's really what these member spotlights are about every month. This is the third session now that we're doing. And I'm very much looking forward to hearing more about it all, Beck. <laughs> Look forward to sharing. Yeah. So first of all, um, Beck, tell us a little bit more about you. So what sort of work do you do? How long have you been doing it for? And uh, tell us a little bit more about you personally too. Okay. So I've been a small business owner for over 20 years yeah. in multiple different businesses. And in my current um, vocation, um, I'm an accountant. I'm one of the partners at Ace Business and we're a full service firm. So okay. we're helping um, businesses with their bookkeeping, their accounting and their advisory needs. I like to explain this as the GP for your business. I like it. We, good, yeah, we, we help you with your business and then we refer you to the specialists to get the specialized training that um, others offer. So, um, yeah, we are there um, looking after those businesses and, and just keeping you healthy and happy, or your business healthy and happy. And it helps that you're a nice person too, because <laughs> uh, sometimes accounts can be a bit, uh, you know, daunting. Uh, yeah, <laughs> analytical and very, you know, you know, head down, bum up sort of thing. Don't talk to me, you know, that sort of stuff. But you're, you're, yes. you're easy to chat to. Yes. So that was one of the things that um, was highlighted both before I did your course and then during your course is I'm not your standard accountant. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm not a strong C personality that wants to look at all this. I want you to understand your numbers. I want you to understand what you're doing. And I want to support you into growing that business. Um, and then all the minutiae, we get that done for you. Exactly. So, and how long have you been doing that for, Beck? Uh, so I started as a bookkeeper back in 2001, mobile bookkeeper and helping different businesses. I would go in and out of businesses and just support them when they had their admin and bookkeeping staff mm -hmm. um, out of the office. And then I've moved forward to then be registered BAS agent, then a registered tax agent and now partner of this business. So Fantastic. Ace Business um, in its current format, um, we're a team of 10 and we've been running for six years now. Wow, that's great. Hmm. And uh, obviously it's not stopping yet because uh, you guys are so flat out busy all the time. Yes, yeah, yeah. It's absolutely wonderful. We're so excited for what we're doing um, and yeah, growing and growing just to helping lots of different businesses. So yeah. so, so where's, uh, where's the limit for you? <laughs> Where do you see you going? Hmm. <laughs> the limit is staffing. So yeah. it depends on how amazing the team are because we never want to dilute what we do. We always want to make sure that we're giving the absolute best to every single client, mm. whether they're a sole trader or a large company, we want them to get the same quality service. So Fantastic. as long as we've got the team to back that, we will. That's it. Good people make a good business. And as this, the slogan says here behind us, together we reach the stars. So it's always a mantra that we clearly hold up highly in our office as well. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> good stuff. And and personally, tell us a little bit more about the, you know, the, the woman. Okay, Adam so um, I am a mum of four, grandmother of two and a half. <laughs> um, yeah, grown up kids. So um, I've got one um, still living at home, um, still finishing high school, but the rest are all out in their own careers. Um, so I've had all the years of committees and sporting and running the kids around and being involved in schools and, and all the experience that I've gotten from that has been really fantastic as well. And that's my, ha my happy place, being wow. with people and supporting people and helping them. So more kids, goodness, talking about, like I always say, if you ever want to get something done, ask a busy mom of many kids that also has a business to run, which you yep. do. Yep. They know what time management means. Yeah. And I studied <laughs> all those years as well. It took me 13 years for wow. all of the studies. And I'm continuing to study because I love to learn. So, yeah. Oh, you've got the growth, kids, growth kids mindset. Business. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Brilliant. Um, tell us a little bit more. Like, you know, what do you see these days, especially since, you know, COVID behind us, um, small business? What do you see that is really, you know, bugging some of your, your clients, really, and how? 
you know, what you guys do makes a difference. Yep. Okay. So um, staffing is a massive issue for lots of people. Yeah. And how we're, su we're supporting those problems is connecting them with the specialists that they need. You know, HR specialists, training specialists, um, you know, those sorts of things. Um, just really working through um, as much as people keep thinking COVID's past, it's not. The pain of COVID is now hitting for those that have had pain. They're having to pay their tax debts. They're getting the director penalties. They're really starting to feel the pinch from the ATO and other credit agencies. Lots of people were able to put their, their mortgages on hold for two years. They felt like they were fine. And now they have to pay up. their mortgage. Interest rates are going up. Business loans are going up. It, it's really struggling. Wow. So we're just working them through those problems, connecting them with the specialists, you know, you know, refixing your mortgage, making sure that you're in, um, you know, finance plans with the ATO, all of that sort of thing is really important. So that's that's what we're doing to support them. And those that have had a cracker time during COVID, because there was lots of South <laughs> Australian businesses made a lot of money. Um, so we are managing that um, that for them for the drop down now, because, mm. you know, they they made half a million dollars of profit in 21, 22, 23, we're back to the real, realistic profit levels of what, what we would normally see. So just getting them to pull back on their on their budgets and understand that they are going to have a lower profit in the 23, 24 year, and just managing expectations. So how often would you see your clients like to work with the cash flow stuff? Absolutely depends on the client and the type of industry um, and the type of person they are. So, um, and that, that's another thing that's really changed in my life since um, doing the course um, and understanding people um, is some clients need me to run through every number with them and look at every account with them so that they know, and we're doing that monthly. Others just want an overview. All right, am I doing good? Am I doing bad? How much money do I need to put away? Give me a percentage. Um, and that's been really good to understand. We, why do people want to know, you know, one person wants this, one person wants that, What? why? You know, I never understood that until went through the course with you. Um, and then now it doesn't phase me. Like, yep, you yeah. uh, know, client X needs a detailed run every month and this is what we do. Client B, he wants quarterly meetings after his bass, how much do I pay back and am I doing okay? Executive summary, short, succinct, fast exactly. versus long-winded, detailed, highly analytical. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. Uh, and well, I price it accordingly now. Good. I'm <laughs> glad because you should. Um, well, you mentioned the course on a few occasions. We'll, we'll touch on that a little bit later, but um, appreciate you, you mentioning that, of course. Um, what sort of businesses do you see that you can really support big time based on you know, your previous experience. Now. So NDIS is a huge area for us at the moment. Um, it's a it's a huge, huge growth area for lots of businesses starting out and making um, a lot of turnover and they're not sure where to go or what to do. Um, I've been a parent of a participant for the last 16 years. Um, my son was a, a part of the pilot program um, when it came to South Australia because South Australia piloted the program. So I've lived, breathed and, and experienced it. Um, and then over the last two and a half years, I've supported a lot of NDIS businesses. Okay. So that's really where the the um, the most value we are giving to clients right now. And don't get me wrong, we've got lots of clients. Anybody of my other clients that go, I'm not NDIS. <laughs> <laughs> we are able to support them all. We've got lots of experience in all of the industries. Um, but that is where we're really focused at the moment because they're the people that are in the highest level of need. And it fills my bucket because they're helping the people that need help. So nice. I like to help. And then I hear purpose in business. Yes, we Absolutely. love that. <laughs> <laughs> purpose in business. So yeah, look, it's always good when, when people can actually do the work they love to do with the type of people that they love to help and support. And so it, it clearly shows me that you know who those type of people are that fill your bucket. Uh, and yeah, obviously then getting paid for it is just a nice extra <laughs> on top of it. But let's say doing what you love is important. Um, sometimes there's certain clients that are not great to mm -hmm. work with. Um, who do, what do they look like for you? They don't have a growth mindset mm. and they don't want to listen. So 
<laughs> hey, you really need to put away some money for tax? Nah, it'll be it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Why do I have a tax debt? <laughs> Been only telling you for five years. <laughs> yeah. So we really like working with um, businesses that automate their systems. Mm -hmm. um, they want to grow, um, move forward. Um, we're a very tech heavy business. Um, so we're um, paperless and um, use a lot of automation and AI in our business um, to really enhance what, what um, clients are receiving and decrease the amount of time we spend on mm. the, you know, manual stuff that we can give to um, software and then we can give that personalized service and really help them grow their business from there so love it yeah how, how would that look like for a client like you know where do you see the difference um i think the biggest thing is that they see so much of us um they get to talk to us um i ran into a client last night at an event um and she said to somebody else it's like ringing your friend you can ring them and, and it's like your friend, how do I do this? Oh, cool. All right. Thank you very much. And it doesn't matter who in the office answers that phone. Everybody's her friend. You know, everybody's there to support her and on they move. Um, and because we're using the technology, we're not overwhelmed and, you know, stressing out. Oh, I've got a, you know, 50 page report to write here when you've got chat GPT to help you. <laughs> That's exactly right. Chat GPT helps. Yeah. Big time. So uh, obviously, you would use the things as like MyOp or Zero or QuickBooks Absolutely. and all that. But then also use yep. all the functionality of it, right? Yeah. So we use all of those functionalities. Um, programs like Dext, pro programs like Visual Care that um, holds does rostering as well as um, okay. uh, yeah, just it brings everything in so that people have got software that just runs their system. Um, if I get an email in and I need to assign it to somebody. It's two clicks and it goes to the staff member because nice. we use the AI in the software. So Very good. Yeah. And obviously when your clients being small business can get a rid, rid of double handling, triple handling, yeah. manual stuff, well, entries, mistakes, all of that sort of stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. If you're retyping an address again and again, it's not helpful and you're going to make a mistake. At some point we're all human. But yeah. if you're using the technology, to make sure that it just flows through all the different software easy then there's no problem just works like that works a treat you got more time to spend on more important tasks rather than data entry and whatever exactly yeah, yeah. and then we we educate clients on how to speed that up and connect them with um other specialists so like a an email specialist so that you learn clients will learn how to use their inbox efficiently mm. I, I don't teach that but I connect you with somebody that does teach it and then that um, helps clients as well. So Beautiful. Yeah. Obviously, you're a very well-networked woman. Um, you're in b &I, I am, yeah? yes. This came from your, your yes. networking function. Yeah. So um, tell us how that is actually uh, working for you also in your business and how it also adds value back to your clients. Just having that network is incredible. Um, as I say, I see myself as the GP. So they come to me and then we refer on to the specialists. So um, I wouldn't send, you know, if somebody said to me, I need some help with rostering, I wouldn't send it to the person that's, you know, the email specialist. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, you send the send the client across to a specialist in what they do um, so that you're you're problem solving all the way through yep. and being in, in the BNI network and, and not just that, but also all of my networks. Um, Cause I, I do a lot of networking and communicate with a lot of different people. Um, I work out very quickly who's good and who's not, and then um, work with them. And then I always ask for feedback from both my clients and the specialist to see, was this a good fit? How does this work? What, what yeah. else can you do or what what did they do well what did they not do well and then we work with as i say i call them the specialists <laughs> i love it gp versus specialist that that really works well now for anyone watching who isn't familiar with bni bni is business network international it's a uh, you know, basically helping to tap into referrals that are um, warm referrals by a shared network of people that you know trust and happily refer to because it will make you look good so obviously, Beck has been involved in that for a number of, I don't know, how many years? It just rolled over to my third year. Well done. So, Congratulations. Yeah, yeah thank um, you. I've been there as, as well myself for about six odd years. Uh, and uh, I, I really love the idea of people collaborating and working together. Um, and like you say, referrals to people that you know and trust. 
yeah. um, they they work a treat. You know, we all know that that uh, is easy business to be converted. Absolutely. Even though I had lived and and worked in Adelaide my entire life, when I first started Ace Business um, in this current structure about five, six years ago, I realized I didn't know enough people. People would say, do you know so-and-so accountant? Do you know so-and-so? I didn't, I, I didn't feel that I knew anybody. So that was my whole purpose is I wanted to get out there, network like crazy and meet people because I wanted that network of people to help my clients and really support them. So that's been fantastic. So hmm. great stuff. Um, you mentioned earlier the course, the course specifically that you were referencing was Business Development Accelerator. Yep. It's our flat, one of our flagship programs that we run for 10 weeks with people intensively to really not just change their mindset and their knowledge and information, but really help them to change the way they do business. And, and along the way, as you apply it, you get results. And so bringing it back to you, like obviously you started talking about it, started to say like how it's helping. Tell us a little bit more. Oh. Absolutely. So I got enrolled in the program by somebody else and they paid for my ticket. That's correct. Um, and so I didn't really know what I was signed up for. <laughs> <laughs> I came along and thought, okay, this could be Thank you, Simon. <laughs> this could be interesting. Um, so I came along um and wow, I was just so wowed by what um I learned from it, the education that I got out of it. Um, and just really understanding the way that I did things and then understanding when I was sitting next to somebody, how they were responding to me and why they were responding to me in such ways. So um, that certainly helped me um, incredibly. Um, I have implemented now lots of different um, little changes in what I do. One little change, for example, is... Um, I'll meet with a client and I'll send them a follow-up email mm -hmm. after I have seen them at um, the meeting. Now, that helps me on two ways. One, I remember the meeting better. <laughs> <laughs> um, but two, they remember the meeting better. Mm -hmm. And we've got clear outline of what we're doing. But that email is never the same for two people. It is always tailored to them. And what's, you know, as I say, if they are a just give it to me and let me go. It's dot points and away it goes. If they're really details driven, they get a big <laughs> report. <laughs> nice, nice. So, yeah, so that's, that's fantastic. So that's in, in, in a way that how you engage with existing clients. Business Development Accelerator is also about new potential well, business. They are generally my new clients. Okay. So, yeah, that's usually, um, so we have an onboarding meeting with every client. Yeah. Um, and again, whether they are a 80-year-old um, franking credits tax return account or they are a um, multinational um, or, you know, um, multi-million dollar business, we will sit down with them and have a conversation. Are we a good fit? Um, what are you looking for? Where, where do you want to move forward from? And what are your goals? Because yep. goals are always really important. We want to know what people's goals are. And then that feeds back as to whether or not we're a good fit. So, if they don't have goals, it shows they don't have a growth mindset. If they do have goals, it shows, hey, I'm, I'm, I've got ambitions. I'm working towards something. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Um, tell us, Business Development Accelerator is definitely also uh, for, for people that want to grow their business, their top line, their bottom line. Yeah. Could you share some things that uh, how it's helped you in that sense? Yeah. Well, we've added two new staff since I did that course. So <laughs> sweet. <laughs> yes. Love it. <laughs> we've, ex we've extended our bookkeeping arm of our business, um, and that's um, as a as a focused measure of. We want to grow this part and this is what we're going to accelerate within the business, um, which then leads on to, um, because we're full service, we'll, we'll do their accounting work as well. So it's been fantastic. Um, but yeah, we are, it, it is measurable to mm. see the growth that we've had since oh. um, doing the course. Because last year, you, you did it like what, six months ago, was it? Uh, yeah, just over, I think. Yeah, yeah, a bit more than six months ago, and already two new staff on board to help with the execution and of the of the services. Okay, that's great. Um, yeah, you didn't know, as you said, this this was actually really funny that you didn't know what you you what you were signed up for by someone else. Um, initially, you were probably a bit wary, maybe a bit skeptical, questioning like, is this going to be worth my while? Yep. <laughs> Tell us a little bit more about that. <laughs> Yeah, to be honest, I I was. I didn't know if, you know, I, I guess I, 
I heard about it. And then when I found out it was on Zoom, I thought, well, at least I have to take half a day out of the office. <laughs> Um, so I was, I was very wary of it, but thought, um, I love to learn if I can grab, um, if my, my goal was to get three takeaways out of the whole course to say this was worthwhile. And I took away probably 30 more wow. you know, at least. Um, so yeah, really just the personal and business growth that I got out of it was astronomical, um, especially coming into this this meeting today. I've reflected more on well, what did I get out of it and what did I do and things like that. Um, and, yeah, I, I just keep looking back at it going, wow, yeah, well, that now I do that. Oh, yeah, now I do that. Oh, and I understand that better mm. and I understand myself better as well. So Beautiful. Hmm. Would you say that even helped you potentially with your team? Um, possibly, yeah, definitely, um, bringing on new team members. Um, we, most of our team have been there since the beginning. Um, so, and the ones that were newer are no longer there. So, um, which is interesting, but we've got, yeah, quite, um, you know, multi-year people being that we've only been around not quite six years, six years in June, um, we've got people that have been there for that for them well I had one staff member who came on board before we even went into this structure so um but yeah definitely I understand them better mm. um but employing new staff I know what I'm looking for I know where I'm you know potentially went wrong in the past and where I can succeed in the future that's it so. because there's a lot of psychology involved right with what, what we taught you about how to think with clients prospects staff members Definitely. potential business partners, referrers, you can more easily read people. Yes, yes, mm. absolutely. Yeah, I've taken a lot of that away. Great stuff. Um, anything else that you want to share? Like, here's the thing. Um, the success of community is about people collaborating, you know, yep. reaching the stars together, but also about finding new ways to be more successful. What's a key nugget that you'd like to share in with our members in yep. the success community? Absolutely. Um, really invest in yourself. Always remember that the time that you spend working on learning new things, meeting new people, talking to other others is investing in yourself and investing in your business. Mm -hmm. So where I looked at it and went, oh, not wasting half a day by driving, it's only an hour. I needed to change that mindset and go, actually, this is investing in myself, investing in my business, and this is really worthwhile time. So that's that's another Another thing that I've walked away with is I've gone um, and understood that I need to invest in myself mm -hmm. and I need to value that time. Mm -hmm. That's not, not time away from work. That's time in work. And that's really it. the investment in that is, is critical. We all say it, work on your business, not in your business. But how many people are actually living that and investing in the knowledge yes. will really help. Absolutely, because I think it's easy to make an excuse to say, I'm too busy. I don't have the time. That's an excuse in our mind that yes. keeps us small. Yeah. So what you're saying is change your mind. Make sure that you free up time. Yes. Spend that time. Invest it because it's an investment. It's not mm -hmm. a spend. It's an investment. And it tends it tend to come back in you in multiple ways. So we are on a mission, as you guys might know, uh, to reach 2 billion people and help them with business, professional, personal, and financial success. Um, would you say that you would have had something in all four fields as a result of the business development? Absolutely. Accelerate? Absolutely. Without a doubt. Yeah. Great stuff. Well, Beck, it's been a pleasure. Love your mindset. And I love that you're different in the industry. Uh, as you know, I've, I've done a lot of work with accountants. Uh, I think by now about 450, maybe 500 already so far in, in Australia alone. Uh, so I've seen a few of them and they're all great people, but you're really one that kind of has a difference, an edge, which I like. Yep. So it's great. Yeah, I'm sitting here instead of being on Zoom. I'm different. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's been a pleasure. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Thank you so much, everybody. Hope you got some value here from the Success Community Member Spotlight. And we were going to be back next month with yet another member that we're going to uh, feature for you. And if you have any questions for them, always reach out. Actually, last question, Beck, where can people find you? I should have asked earlier. <laughs> um, yep. So we're Ace Business. So um, ace, aceb.com.au is our email. Yep. You can see it on your T-shirt there. Yes. Aceb.com.au. Yeah. 
AU is our website um, and we're on Facebook, LinkedIn, you know, reach out. Um, yeah. That's it. Perfect. We're everywhere. Fantastic. Thanks. <laughs> and we're national as well. So national, we do US and New Zealand um, tax work as well. Right. Yes. There you go, guys. So if you're looking for a great accountant that is also a very nice person to talk to with a support team in the back end that helps you streamline and automate and all of that and make your life easier uh, so that you can also bank more money and enjoy life, well, talk to Beck. I highly also recommend her. Thanks again, guys. See you next month.